Look at this poor locomotive isolated over here. Poor thing is totally isolated. It's on a little piece of track. All the track to the right in that direction has been removed. This coal load out, permanently closed down. This is in West Virginia. It went right to that building. There's still a little bit of track going through the building. Now on the other side of the building, all the track has been removed. There's a little piece of track left, but most of the spur is gone. They tore the track out and they got all these railroad ties all piled up here from the track. That's a cool looking locomotive. Would have loved to have seen that thing running. It's gonna to have to go out in pieces, I guess. It'll be scrapped. This is just west of Matewan. Really sad to see this thing closed down. See the track? A little bit of track going right to the building still here. The rest of the line on past here is all removed. Recently done too. Let's have a look at this locomotive. Isolated. All the way out here in the middle of nowhere by itself. What a shame. There she is. Railroad tie wall from taking all the track up. Sprouse Creek. Pretty cool. Hate to see these places closed down. It's a shame. Cole keeps the lights on. Man, that was hard getting up here. See, there's still a little bit of track here. And this track was really good track. They just lost all their coal business here. But the track is really good. Nice heavy welded rail, thick ballast. I guess the mine must have played it out. It was a huge complex here too. There it is. Just west of Mate One. Here's the western end of the mine. Mine loadout, Sprouse Creek. Railroad crossing right here. Norfolk Southern Railroad crossing. These tracks were lifted recently. I'm not sure when. But I mean really recently, maybe this year. But wait, there's more! Of course there always is. Look at this. This distant signal light is still on. That is still active right there. I hope that shows up. The bottom one is on yellow. Wow. This is really cool. The railroad track went right here. And then it went down that way to the coal load out in the mines. It's a Norfolk Southern Spur. 
and there's still a lot of the rail laying right over here just to show what i'm talking about this is really good rail it's a 136 pound rail welded see that i mean it almost looks brand new some of it says norfolk southern property do not take on the side of the rail so they took this rail up there's a crossing right over there by the way there's a crossing right there with flashers and the active track ends at that crossing i'll show that in a minute but it looks like they probably took this rail up to use somewhere else because it's really good rail A lot of good rail laying there 136 pounds per yard so that couldn't have been used on this line very long i'd like to find out some more about this spur i just happened across it there's a distant signal right there And right here is where they've cut this spur, right here at this crossing. So that piece of track right there is still active all the way up to the crossing. They've actually got a few railroad cars sitting on the track down there. Got a few of them stored down there temporarily. Coley Smoke Way. This is where the coal spur comes off the main line, right here at Alma. And if you can see the light, it's still on right there. Let's see if we can see that. See, those lights are still on on red right there. Right here at Alma Junction, I guess that's what they call it. That's the Norfolk Southern Main Line right there. To the right goes to Williamstown. To the left, Mate One. And right here they've got these three cars still sitting right here. I'm not sure if that's what they were using, scrapping the line. That's probably what it is. Probably putting the rail in those gondola cars when they're scrapping the line. Got a golf course right next to the tracks here. There's your top of rail. Let's have a closer look at those cars down there. Well, it looks like a buck got hit by the train here. Kind of a smelly situation here. But here's these gondola cars, probably using these to haul the rail and scrap off of this line. They haven't been here all that long. Look how shiny the wheels still are. Nice looking golf course right there. Oh, I saw a tag on this car right here. This old Conrail gone. Let's have a look here. See if anyone recognizes this tag. We know it's not shoestring tag. Right there. See, this part of the track is still here from Alma Junction all the way up to the next crossing with the electrical substation or whatever it is. Documenting this for history, because who knows how much longer this little spur is going to be here. Well, my curiosity got the best of me, so I looked inside these cars, and they're empty right now. So they're probably here for this last little bit of track. They'll lift this track out right here. Cut this welded rail into sections that'll fit inside these gondola cars. And then pull out this last bit of track, that's my guess. Thanks for watching, folks. Documenting this for history. Give me a thumbs up and all that stuff. 
watch our video if you got the time and we'll see you later jaw tooth out over here at the golf course